So today I'm going to be doing the unwrapping of my 3.1 Philip Flim Mini Pashley. And I'm super excited about this bag. It sold out three times on me before I got my hands on it. And it's really all about the color. I usually buy my handbags in black, but you know, this fall winter, I want to try something a little different. And so I'm just super, super excited to show you guys what color I got. A little background about why I bought this bag. I had a chance to carry the 3.1 Philip Lim Mini Pashley when he did it for the Target line. And I love that bag. It was really, really great for my lifestyle. And so when I was looking for a fall winter bag, it was kind of a no brainer to just go ahead and upgrade to the regular line um, Mini Pashley. Uh, eventually, I hope to be able to, after I carry this bag a little while, I'll be able to give you guys a comparison between the Target and the main line bag. And I can already tell you there's a couple of differences. There's things on the Target bag that I really wish were on this main bag and I haven't even carried it back yet. So I know there are going to be some things on the main bag that I wish were on the other bag. And basically I'm going to tell you how they could have made the perfect bag, the perfect Pashley Mini. Even though I think this is darn near close. So stay tuned and in a few minutes I'll show you my new baby. Okay, so here's the bag reveal. Um, like I said, I got the 3.1 Pashley Mini, and of course it came in a box, and this is just the tissue paper wrapping on it, and it has the 3.1 Philip Lim sticker here, and it's wrapped in tissue paper all the way around, and you can see on the side the bag is in plastic, actually, and so I'm going to remove it from there and I've taken the tissue paper off and this is the bag that we're left with and it has this um, Philip Lim bag that it's in and then it tells you the color and this is the big reveal I got the red one super exciting cannot wait the back is plastic and it has the sticker here so I'll just open that sticker up and let's see there's more tape on the side here and that and now the bag is open it's out and the bag is in bubble wrap almost there almost there and it's tape on the front so I'll take it and it reveals a dust bag super important it's kind of a thin dust bag it's an interesting texture to it um, and at the bottom there it has the 3.1 Philip Lim logo on it and the top of the bag has these ties these pulls on it Drawstrings, pull the back close tight. And I can already see the color, it is awesome. And so, I'm so excited about this bag, y'all. Let me open up the drawstring a little more. And where's my new baby? She is beautiful. I hope this color is showing up awesome. It may look a little um, pinkish, but actually my scarf is pink. So it's red. It's really red. You can kind of tell against my fuchsia scarf that this is really red. And I love this bag already. I mean, I, Jesus, I really do love it. Love, 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 love it. Gosh, okay. And so just some of the features of the bag. Um, again, this is the red Philip Lim, 3.1 Philip Lim Mini Pashley. I got this bag from the actual Philip Lim store. I actually called them and placed the order for the bag. The bag was, the first time I saw the bag, I saw it on Saks and it was sold out. And I was like, I gotta have that bag. And so I went on a search. I found it on a couple of websites. I found it on Barney's, sold out. I found it on Bergdorf. Bergdorf right now has the bag and 
it is not available until March. Like they won't deliver it back until March. That's the kind of back order it's on. And so I signed up at Philip Lim and said, hey, let me know when the bag is available. I signed up online. They sent me a message the first time I missed it. The second time I did not care what time they opened. I think they opened at 10 o'clock. I called them and was like, hey, I need this bag. And so I got this bag um, via phone actually. <laughs> and the shipping from the store was really, really quick. Um, I think I ordered this bag on like, had to be maybe a Tuesday and it was here by like Thursday. So I'm super excited about this bag and just some of the features um, you've probably seen if you watched any of the other Patchley reviews and reveals, there's a little bag hook here to hold your handles together, which is something I think I'm going to love. Um, and I'm not going to, I'm going to try not to point out the difference between this one and the one for Target because there are differences and then there are similarities. And they got it all tucked up and taped up, which is great protection. I wish I could wear this protection all day because I know this is probably going to get scraped really soon, real, really quickly. But the buttons here, the buttons here um, is what releases this clasp here in the front. And there's some tissue paper inside, wrapped around the long strap. The shape is holding its shape really well. And that's because of the leather. The leather is, I think this is cow's leather, what to say? Cow, cow, not sure. Don't quote me on that, sorry. Inside my bag. She's red all the way through, which is so awesome. Um, she has one pocket with the zipper on her. And then there's a little thing here. You can hang your a little tab right there. And I think that's to hold your keys on. I'm not sure if somebody out there correct me if I'm wrong. And I love her. Oh, my God. And so everyone knows, like, the big thing about the Patchley is these vents in the front. Are these vents. Um, you can zip it up. And wear it as a traditional square bag, or you can zip it down and wear it vented. And I'm sure um, these are really tight right now because it's fresh, it's new leather, and you know, leather gives. And so over time, after I finish packing it with all of my junk in my life, in this bag, yes, um, it's going to give some. And so these flaps are probably stay open a lot better than they do now. You know, got to get used to the thing about carrying the other bag is I'm going to have to get used to how this one closes because it doesn't close exactly the same as the other one does. So, and the reason that I went with this bag, in all honesty, is the size. Um, in my old bag, I could get my iPad mini in it, and we're just going to do a quick test and see. <laughs> Somebody's calling right now. Yes, I can get my iPad mini in here, and that's very important to me. Um, so that's, yeah, it's in there, and it's in there with extra space. My other one, um, it barely closed in there, so I'm super excited about that. And the other feature about it that's really important to me is the strap because I wear it as a crossbody. I never, hardly ever just carry it as a regular, a handbag, handbag. I usually use the crossbody strap. So I'm going to try out my new Pashley Mini. And I'll post pictures on my Instagram of me and how I style this bag because this is my new winter bag. It's going to go perfect with my new winter coat. So look out for my Pashley Mini. And I'll tell you right now, I name. I'm in the habit of naming my bags, et cetera, or things that I really, really love, my computer, things like that. So I know it sounds cheesy, but Fuego for hot. And I'm going to call her Ego for short. So this is Ego, and we're going to have a great fall together. Thanks for checking out my video. 
If you want to find me on Instagram, my Instagram name is going to be down here in the box. So I'll see you guys soon. Thank you. Showed up. Shout out. What'd it do? Uh.